Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Around the World with me and you heard 37. So we are here in Tel Aviv and I've got another flight today. We are heading to Saudi Arabia. I believe we're going to Jeddah to King Abdulaziz Airport. We do have scenery for that. Alright, but it's going to be a long flight. It's about 600 and some nautical miles. I guess the range in this thing is a little over a thousand so we should be able to do it. And we're going to go up to 20,500 feet. I don't think we've ever had it up that high. But I said, let's go for 20,500. Just get to start it up. Alright, everything is already off. It's on. Turn on the battery. Fuel boost. Let's hit our nav and beacon. Hit the starter for low idle. There we go. All right, move that all the way up. Let's turn that starter off. And also turn the fuel boost off. Generator is on. Avionics fully on. Prop auto heat and pedo heat. Good on that. Hit up ATC and get on out of here. We are heading to the south. Round Cessna with India. Request taxi for takeoff. South departure. Cessna taxi two and hold short of runway three zero via taxiway T eleven. Runway thirty. Contact huh? tower on one one eight point three when ready. All right. Well, acknowledge that. Taxi Turn on the progressive taxi. Set my head in another ahead. There we go, three zero. Let's go ahead. Uh, I can't. Never, I can never remember. I think taxi's the middle, right? Yeah, landing or the two out. I always forget that. I can't, I don't know. I'm not sure why. There we go. Hopefully we can get out of here without uh, hitting that. Those vehicles. Yeah, there we go. All right. Not sure exactly where runway 30 is. This airport's got a bunch of runways. If I remember correctly, it was like a triangle when we came in. Like the runways form a triangle, and they, there weren't that many taxiways. It was a long, long taxi, and it looks like it's going to be another long way over there. Hopefully that's the end of it, though. Well, if that's the runway, we don't even need to go all the way down if there's another taxiway. Hopefully, there's got to be one shorter than that. Or shorter than that before, uh, you know, we get all the way down there. Yeah, there weren't that many taxiways, if I remember correctly, last time coming in. I'm not totally sure. Scenery is in extremely dense. We'll see how it handles. I remember it's kind of a little jittery coming in, a little loss of frame rate because it's a, it's a uh, Tel Aviv is densely packed. Yeah, see, like there's no taxiways I can see yet. Because I'm thinking that's got to be our runway because it's heading directly uh, south of us. For sure, I say north and south. And then the next one, we are going to be going, I think it's Qatar. And then uh, we'll, might, I'm going to try and head to Dubai. Like, I know you wouldn't really land some of these planes with, that, with those airports, but if I got scenery for some of them, so it's kind of like, yeah, let's might as well go ahead and go to them. Because it gives a chance to see some of this scenery. And I prefer, obviously, I think most people would prefer scenery over, like, like in Toronto, I was asked, why why would you land that, that I could plane like this in Toronto at Pearson International? Why wouldn't you go to the smaller ones? And it's just because we, you know we got scenery, and I'd rather land at uh, an airport like that than go to a, like one that you would actually go to a smaller airport. See, like there's no taxiways to that runway until you get all the way down. It's kind of ridiculous, I think. 
Like we, we should already be in the air, you know? There might be one right before the end, but that doesn't really do any good. By the way, we are really moving down this taxiway. We're just idling though. Alright, yeah, we're not going to go all the way down. I'll, finally, they've got at least one taxiway for us, so we can get on. Slow down a little bit, and we'll turn. Alright, I guess i got to follow the line, technically. Oh, got a little too much on the brakes. Come on, girl. There we go. Man, she really didn't want to turn. Or she didn't want to go while we were turning so hard. Alright, put one, out, one notch of flaps. We'll get up here. Call her ATC and get our go ahead. the tower. Make our request. Cessna ready at runway 30 south departure. Cessna cleared for takeoff. Runway 30 departure to the south approved. All right. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 30. Landing lights Cessna. on. Strobe is on. Just make it. Can't really check to the right now, can we? All right. We'll just do a rolling takeoff. I'm not sure why, but I don't really see uh, any other traffic. You would think that uh, there would be some traffic. It's like 11 something in the local time. Every, all the traffic's set up to 80, but I don't see anything. Alright. Get lined up. Alright, here we go. Spike me to the left. Alright, let's go ahead and rotate. Track the flaps. Pitch down just a little bit. Nose down. Climbing a little too fast there. Get our speed up. We'll turn to the south here in just a second. Yeah, that's like densely populated in Tel Aviv. Although I guess kind of in that area they are. Let's see the frame rate. Yeah, 24, 20, not so bad. But I think if you had even a uh, close route to the ocean, it would get even worse. There's so many buildings and everything. Set our altitude to 20,500. Actually, yeah, let's just go 20,000. We don't have to do the 500. Alright, 20,500. There we go. See, I, I turned a little quick. I don't want to head. Make sure it turned a little much. I was paying too much attention to my altitude. Setting the altitude. Let's see. Desired 155. Let's get that set up. a little more there we go a little high up so I can't really get to the autopilot heading the heading 
altitude, we'll hit the vertical speed. Let's see, but I can't tell what it's set at. I want to set it about a thousand. That'll work. Heading into the sand. Let's take a quick look outside. Man, that is so densely populated. Unreal. That's why you can't get a good frame rate. Those textures look pretty good. And then I guess you just kind of drop off there, huh? Just really, really densely populated, but then it just drops off like there's nothing. I have no idea what's around Tel Aviv. I have no idea how far you gotta go until you get to like Palestine or anything like that. Although we're heading to the south, so I don't know. I don't. I think we'd still be in Israel for the most part. I don't think we ever hit Palestine since we're going basically dead south. I don't know much about the area. All right, we're at about 4,400 feet. And let's go ahead and turn off our taxi light. Actually, I think technically we're supposed to leave it on since we're fixed landing aircraft. You have to leave it on. You're supposed to. I'm not sure. Until you get to 10,000 feet as well. So I'll just leave it on. But we're well on our way. It's going to be a long flight. Like I said, we're going up to 20,500. About 4,500 short of the ceiling for this plane. But it's going to be a long flight. Let's actually take a look at the distance real quick. That's four and a half hours. It's going to be long. Distance 753, so it's even longer than I thought. Dang. All right, well, we better get to it, so I'll speed it up. We'll be back in just a little bit.
Alright everybody, I'm going to slow it down here to normal speed. We need to hasten our descent as well, cut back on the power. We're not descending quick enough. Alright, bring back the power even more. We need to go ahead and hit up ATC. Only one in the area. Full stop landing. Cat tower, Cessna, one seven miles north to land. Cessna, Cat tower, make right traffic, runway three or right, altimeter two nine or seven one. Make right downwind, runway three four right, Cessna. All right, so we'll head out to the left. That actually kind of helps because we got to go around and come back to the north so that'll help with our descent as we got to go around the airport give it a little bit more power we can probably slow our descent a little bit get it about a thousand feet a minute a little more power there it goes All right. Although I don't know, should we descend a little bit, just a little bit quicker? I didn't mean to make it 8,500. I actually wanted it more closer to a thousand or so. Wrong way. There we go. All right. We'll go ahead and speed this up as well. Back to 4x. Go out to the left just a little bit more. Come back for 34 right. It's probably a little bit too far out to the right. Still up in the clouds, 10,700 feet. And there's like nothing out here, it's just desert. A little bit of ocean out to our uh, right. All right, 10,000 feet, go ahead and put the landing lights back on. I don't quite see the airport. It should be up on our right. There's still some clouds and stuff. This doesn't help. Go back to the right just a little bit more. We don't need to get too far away from the airport. Head our hasten our descent a little bit. That's the airport. It actually looks like it should be up on our right, though. I told this thing to stop at three thousand feet. Well, I'll let it go down to two thousand. Slow her down a little bit. We'll head back to the right just a little bit. World travel two one five seven exit runway when able. World travel to go two full one mixture. five seven. Going at one two one point six. World travel two one five seven. I'm gonna put this back to three thousand. Slow down our descent. Probably went a little far, 4x. Let's go ahead and turn to the right. Got a little far. I didn't even think about the fact we were at 4x. Head straight up. Straight out to the west. Probably could let it go to 2800. 3000 might be a little. Well. Actually, I'll let it go down to 2500. We're not quite as far as I thought. 
still see the uh, runways here. It's not quite uh, due north. Although by the looks of it, we're still a little high. And we're probably going to be around sea level. Got a little more thrust here. Getting a little slow. Let it go to 2000. I believe this is our runway right here, 34 right. Alright, we're right on the glide slope now. But I'll, I'll continue going straight on out and then cut to the right. Don't get going too fast. This is apparently a pretty big airport as well. Head out to the right just a little bit. Looks like we got three runways going in the same direction. Of course, that one's us right there. I don't know why that keeps moving down so fast. About ready to cut over. It's just crazy how it's like, got a big city and then bam, desert. It's just sand everywhere. Got some grass and trees. Shouldn't it be just palm trees? All right. Start making our turn to the runway. Just don't do too much. ready to take over. I was just going to let it get a little closer. About one notch of flaps. Alright, I'll go ahead and take over. Looks like we're still on the glide slope. I acknowledge that. Went out to the left a little much. You get down just a little bit as well. There we go. Hey, uh, got to pull on the joystick a lot to get it go a little bit to the right, and then you hit to the left and it goes flying over the left. I've noticed this thing off a little bit on the calibration and that's kind of a problem because you just move it a little bit to the left and it goes flying very quickly and then you move to right and you got to use more force I'm not sure. I don't like that So we're full of flaps. It looks pretty good. I'm trying to trim it. It's trimmed a little high. There we go. We're going really slow. It seems like this has been a really long approach. That's because we slowed down so soon. By the way, the airport is by BDO Aviation, I believe. Put a link in the description, of course. A little 
little high now. Back on it. We're still a little off to the left. I didn't even think about the ILS. I mean, it's like with a plane like this, do you really need it? Just a little bit slow down. All right. Uh, I think we'll go over to the right. It looks like I can't tell if that's the main terminal to the left or not. I'm not sure why my rudder isn't working. Take y'all damper off. That helps. There we go. Turn next taxiway. All right. I'm confused. I, I think we'll go. Oh, shoot. If we go to the right, hell, I don't know. Know what to contact ground. Oh, we went right. Watch them tell us to go back around back through the uh, runway. Turn the ground, uh, parking, yeah, turn on our taxi, Cessna. turn the landing off, parking. strobe off. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to go around. That's gonna be a long taxi, it sounds like. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it figures we're gonna have to go back around. Alright, let's go on up here and then we'll take a left and come back across the runway. That should work just fine. A little quick here. That really sucks. We gotta go clear around. I can never, I hardly ever pick the right one. If I gotta go, if I take a right, they say you gotta take a left. If I go left, they say no, you gotta come back right. I was hoping there was going to be another taxiway quite close, but uh, apparently it's way down here. Luckily, the progressive taxi has got to go into the right, too. If it was back to the left, I'd be really ticked. Because I don't know if you can just, like, turn around like like that. I don't know if that's legal. If that's, like, against the rules. we got some aircraft up here. I don't know if that's static aircraft or what. Probably is. So this is next to that building. This is going to be quite the taxi. Here we've got a uh, taxiway right here, though. We can jump back across. Kind of wanted to see those aircraft. Then I noticed them. It looks like they got they got to be static. Because they're right next to that building, so I would imagine that they're, they were placed there. In the scenery. Alright, cut down and across. Unreal with these taxiways angled like this. <laughs> now we're heading back a little bit to the left. Awesome. Alright, let me stop right here. There's nothing coming that way. Can't really see that way. Alright, jump across this runway. Let's speed it up so we can get across. Man, these taxiways. I do not like. And the progressive taxi is going nuts. I 
Here we go. Now we can join up with the progressive taxi. Are those like oil pumps? What is that? That doesn't seem like the uh, terminal that I'm used to. That I remember. I don't know what that is over there. All right, we got a taxi way down. Is that a building or is it just a bunch of stuff? Seems like it's too far away to really be part of the airport, like the terminal or anything. It doesn't look like it's enclosed. Maybe it is just like oil wells or something. It would make sense, I guess. It is Saudi Arabia. Tons of oil. There's, I see the progressive taxi is taking us to the left. Not sure how far we gotta go. It looks like more static aircraft up there. Looks like some huge static aircraft. But they look plain white. All lined up. Are they 747s? They seem abnormally huge, abnormally large. Even from far away, they seemed awfully big. I'm kind of wondering, is that part of the airport? There's more airport over here, it looks like, to the left. Then you got all the... I'm not sure what that is. I think we're headed towards it. You think this airport is sprawled out enough? My goodness. This is one of those huge taxis. Like, why don't you put some parking areas right here, like where all the sand is? Why do you gotta be so spread out? I think when we take off, I kinda wanna fly over that and see exactly what that is. I feel like taking a break from this taxi, man. This is ridiculous. You all love the taxing. Uh, it kind of surprises me that you all like seeing people taxi. That would just seem really boring to me. All right. Got another runway right here. Slow her down. Nothing out that way. See, it looks almost like there's something there that doesn't look like oil wells. I thought I saw something in a picture of stuff like that, and I thought it was maybe a terminal? But it's not, it's some kind of structure. I don't know what... See, it looks like it is holding up a tent. Like a, a canopy tarp. Not tarp, but you know what I'm talking about. One of those... Yeah, it, it's holding stuff up, so it's got to be part of the airport. I knew I saw something like that. But from far away, I couldn't tell that it was uh, holding up that fabric or whatever they call that. Jet dot ground, Pacifica Niner one one six taxi to the gate. Pacifica Niner one one six taxi to gate Charlie one one via taxiway Kilo two Kilo Romeo Fox truck. Man, taxi we are way down here. One, one, why couldn't we have Kilo two Kilo Romeo Fox truck? I wish why didn't they bring one, us over here? We went way down just to come back way back here. What's up with that? You, you know what I mean? That just makes no sense. We're going right back where we were we were already here. Just on the other side. This is a really expensive uh, airport. It seems like it's got a lot of wasted space in the middle. Slower down, slower down. Oh my goodness, they got us going way down again.
you look at our fuel it looks like we didn't quite use as much as we should have I think that's kind of has been standard with a lot of these aircraft uh, not burning as much fuel we should have around a, I would have bought around a quarter of a tank about 25% of our fuel left maybe a little less it seems like we have more like 40% or so but I've noticed with a lot of our aircraft we're not burning the correct amount of fuel uh, been noticing that in air hauler. There's nothing really I can do about that. I guess I could go into the config file and increase it, but then I'll end up screwing it up and saying we're burning a bunch more than we're supposed to. Alright, stop right here. That yoke hit the parking brake. Turn off that taxi light. Prop auto heat, pedo heat. Cut the fuel. Turn off our avionics. Turn off the generator. Turn off the battery, get this nav and beacon, fuel selectors, we're done. Let's go outside. Yeah, it's, I think that, I thought that was the big terminal. It's like holding up a fabric, kind of like what you would see in Denver. Looks like that's where they store a bunch of aircraft. I can't remember what they call those. We would call them more like igloos or something, but I can't remember what they're exactly called. Yeah, it's like a big, expansive airport. Nothing around, just sand. Well, we're here in Jeddah, and as like I said, I think the next one we go to Qatar. No, I can't remember now. Is it Qatar, Kuwait? No, it's not Kuwait. Maybe it is Qatar actually. I don't know, but that's gonna be on the next flight. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you guys on the next flight.